and welcome to WSRH News, your leading source for news at Seminole Ridge High. I'm Jojo Siwa. And I'm Perry the Platypus. Today is a Thursday, October 6th. We've got a lot to tell you about this morning, but first, today's top story. Homecoming week is in full swing with fun activities still to come. WSRH News reporter Bobby Bessie has more on the story. Good morning. I'm here with Mr. Timmons for an update on homecoming festivities. So, what do we have planned for today and tomorrow? We don't have anything planned for today, but tomorrow we have the homecoming pep rally. We also have the homecoming football game, and on Saturday we have the homecoming games. What are the price of tickets? Price of tickets is thirty dollars. We are selling them today and tomorrow at lunch. Uh, where are they located? The tickets are located in the cafeteria during A and B lunch by the giant counter. And how many are left? As of right now, there are two hundred and fifty-two tickets remaining. Thank you so much. This is WR Search News, and I'm Bobby Messi. Today's Homecoming Spirit Week theme is Celebrity, and our Hawks are living the dream like a candy queen. WSRH News reporter Kendall Duran has the story. I'm Kendall Duran, and today is Dress as Your Favorite Celebrity Day, so I'm going to go around asking what people are. Who are you today? I'm Adam Sandler. Steve Harvey. And the number one answer is... I miss the old Kanye, straight from the gold Kanye, a cup of salt Kanye. Uh, I'm Steve Lacey. I'm Adam Sandler. I'm Zendaya. And I'm Billie Eilish. Paris Hilton. Harry Styles. Marilyn Monroe. I'm Post Malone. Ariana Grande. I'm Adam. I'm Bad Bunny. Mr. Worldwide. I'm Taylor Swift. I'm John Lennon. I'm uh, Adam Sandler. I'm Sarah Cameron. Ariana Grande. Kurt Cobain. Conan Gray. Adam Sandler. Set up his goals, Kanye. I hit the new Kanye. The bad move, Kanye. I'm always rude, Kanye. Shots up the news, Kanye. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Steve Ooh. Hobby. And Kanye Steve West. Ooh. Yeah. Steve West. Kanye West. Ooh. Tuesday night was our homecoming carnival, and plenty of students came out to show their school spirit. WSRH News reporter Taylor Sims has the highlights. Dance Marathon student body will be today, October 6th. Anyone interested in being a part of our event this year, please join us in Miss Ahmad's room 5102 from 3 to 3.30. We will be discussing how to set up donor drive and register for our events, as well as discuss upcoming events in October. There will be a chess club meeting on October 10th at 2.55. The meeting will be in Mr. Valiente's room 3201. FAU will be here Monday, October 10th. They will be set up in the Ridge Room during both lunches. If you are interested, please sign up with Miss Maggidley Cuddly in the counseling office. Students must attend during lunch scheduled lunchtime, not missing instruction time. ASL Honor Society will be meeting in October 10th at 3 p.m. in room 4 to 11. They will be discussing the Hard of Hearing Harvest Fund and the Hard of Hearing Holiday event. ASL Club is having a meeting October 11th at 3 p.m. in room 4 to 11. Anyone who loves to learn sign language but was not able to take the class, come enjoy the fun. Safe Promise Club will be meeting next Wednesday, October 12th at 3 to 4 in room 4 to 11. If you want to see to make WSRH, no, if you want to make SRH a safer place to be, prevent bullying, self-harm, bring positive vibes to SRH students, come into the meeting. Best Buddies will have a meeting today after school from 3 to 3.20 in Miss Yarnold's room, 6108. Science National Honor Society will be meeting in today in th at 3 in room 5101. Congratulations to this week's Talks of the Week. 9th grade, Eric Bassis, nominated by Miss Abel. 10th grade, Natalie Hines, nominated by Miss Abel. 11th grade, Ida Killick, nominated by Miss Bento. And 12th grade, Sahara Tinker, nominated by Miss Kish. Students were nominated based on academic improvement for their efforts on campus. 
by doing things such as helping others, volunteering their time, or even simply picking up trash. Congratulations, everyone. Coming up on WSRH News, weather and birthdays. Plus, sports. Students, act now. Senior shirts are available for $20 individually or included in your senior package on School Cash Online. Why do skeletons have a low self-esteem? Why? They don't have nobody to love. <laughs> Let's go to WSRH meteorologist Jefferson Lopez with today's forecast. Good morning, Hawks. For today's forecast, we have a high of 86 and a low 64 with sunny skies. On our three-day forecast, on Friday, it's going to be sunny skies, high of 87, and low 65. On Saturday, we're going to have sunny skies, too. High of 85 and a low 67. On Sunday, it's going to be partly cloudy, high of 86 and a low 71. This is WSRS weather. This is Jefferson Lopez. We have a happy birthday going out to Jessica Byron, Christopher Morrison, Stacy Semple, Caitlin Dragner, Fadir Zuccini, Ava Hoyt, Caden Smith. Happy birthday, Hawks. WSRS sports anchor Skylar Pena now, now joins us at the desk. Good morning, Hawks. I have a lot to tell you today about our sports teams today. Girls, are you interested in playing soccer at the Ridge? There will be a mandatory meeting for all girls soccer players this Friday from 3 to 3.20. This meeting will be held in room 6202. If you have any questions, see Croats Tribbin. The boys and girls bowling teams beat Palm Beach Lakes on Tuesday by forfeit. DJ Lackey bowled a 219 and 214 for the boys. Max Leonard had a season high series bowling 151 and 149. Courtney Fellows bowled a 130 for the girls and Rebecca Smith had a lifetime best 100 game. This week is homecoming. The Varsity Football Hawks are hosting the Boynton Beach Tigers. WSRH sports reporter Rachel Hunter has a preview. Hi, I'm Rachel Hunter, and I'm talking to Coach Chief Lowe about the upcoming game tomorrow. So, Coach, who are you guys playing? Uh, this week we're going up against the Boynton Beach Tigers. Are you prepared to go up against this team? Oh, absolutely. Uh, we feel like every game that we go into, uh, we're prepared, um, regardless of the outcome. You know, we, gotta, we always put in the work that uh, we feel is going to get us ready. This, this year around, uh, or I should say this week, we actually got an extra week because of last week a lot of the games got canceled. Uh, it happened to be our bye week. Uh, so we were going to get two weeks to prepare for them either way, but you know, to an advantage for us, they kind of got a game pushed to Monday of this week. So they're actually playing two games this week, uh, which kind of shortens their ability to kind of prepare for us. Uh, but how we're getting prepared for them is just the same old stuff that we always do. Uh, we watch film, we go out, we get as many reps as we can. Uh, we're going back to basics. Uh, this is a very similar team uh, as ourselves. It's almost like looking in a mirror this week. So uh, preparing to face their offense, we've been doing it all offseason uh, because we run a similar style of offense. So uh, our offense, we are what we are, and we're going to go out there and just try to execute better than they can. And, uh, we'll see if this team wins. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm Rachel Hunter, and this is WSRH News. Tuesday night was our senior night. Tuesday night was our senior night for girls' varsity volleyball team. As they hosted Glades Day Gators, WHA sports reporter Brock Plancarte has the highlights. Taking a look at today's sports calendar, cross country versus John I. Leonard at 4 p.m. at Okahili Park. Good luck, Hawks. Well, that's it today for WSRJ Sports. I'm Skylar Pena.
Well, that's it for WSRH News. I'm Perry the Platypus. And I'm Jojo Sira. Remember that I'm going to come back like a boomerang, and you can follow us on social media on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at Seminole Ridge TV. Have a great day, Hawks.